Are you planning on moving to Mobile, Alabama? Maybe you're thinking about relocating here or to one of the popular surrounding cities of Mobile after you retire, or maybe you're wanting to make the move with your family in the near future. Whatever the reason is, we've got some pros and some cons of moving to and living in Mobile, Alabama coming your way so you can hopefully make an informed decision. If you don't know, I'm Tony and this is my partner Jess and we're realtors who like to dive into anything and everything related to living in Mobile, Alabama. So make sure you hit that like and subscribe button if you wanna see more of our Southern Living channel. Lower Alabama has 60 miles of shoreline, some of the best barbecue in the entire country, and friendly people who are all about showing off their hospitality. There's something for everyone to enjoy, but despite there being so many great pros of living here in Mobile, it can also have its drawbacks. So let's get at it starting with the pros. First and foremost, Lower Alabama has so many beautiful white sandy beaches. If you're looking to escape to an oasis without a crazy big crowd, you've got plenty to choose from. Our beaches are family friendly. You can enjoy emerald green waters that make you feel like you're in a tropical paradise. Another great thing about our beaches is that they don't get super crowded. We for sure have a tourist season where there will be an influx of visitors, but it's nothing like some of the touristy beaches you'll find right over the border in places like Pensacola, Destin, or Panama City Beach. I mentioned them being family friendly because the crowds are night and day. Here you'll see families and people who are a lot more mellow than the drunken rowdy crowds that you'll find at the Florida beaches. But if you do want that every once in a while, then you're just a 45 minute drive away. Some of the most popular beaches here are gonna be Orange Beach and Gulf Shores. These two places really make Lower Alabama a total gem. Um, some of the main things we love about our beaches are how close they are to Mobile. You can have your toes in the sand within an hour. They're super clean and easily accessible with amenities close by and they have super warm temperatures, like really warm. Um, we've swam in the Gulf on Christmas Day before and it felt like bath water. I'll never forget that day, it was so nice. I know our competitors and the Carolinas don't have that and Florida, as you all know, is overpriced. Virginia is too cold and I can just keep going. Okay, they get it, ours is warm, theirs isn't. Ours is the best and theirs isn't. If we're gonna throw out facts, let's make sure we're being accurate here. Okay, next pro is the cost of living is affordable. Although Alabama's median sales price is up um, by 7.6% year over year, it's still only 278,000, which is extremely low compared to popular metros like California, which has a median sales price of $760,000. Um, when it comes to Mobile, the median price for a home is in the low 200s. Obviously, depending on where and what you choose, that price point can change and surrounding areas can be double or triple, um, especially in popular areas like on the Eastern Shore where you've got uh, Fairhope and Daphne. But if you're looking for something modest, you can be around that price point too. So it really just depends. Next, let's talk about how Mobile and Lower Bama is just packed with unique natural beauty. You have your notepad ready? You've got the Mobile Bay, of course, Blakely State Park, Dog River, the Delta, Tensaw River, uh, Gulf State Park, Bon Secours National Wildlife Refuge are some of the big ones, but you have some of these little guys too, like Spring Creek, uh, Baygrass Creek, Alligator Bayou, Perch Creek, Hollinger's Island, Chickasaw Creek, and there's just miles and miles of forest where you'll see so many gorgeous 100-year-old live oaks and palm trees and pines and all these other tropical plants that are blooming year round. You'll enjoy amazing wildlife on the land and in the water. In the sky, you'll spot pelicans and hurons flying over your head. In the water, you'll see dolphins and gators and ducks, manatees, you name it. And on land, you've got snakes, lizards, armadillas. The list seriously goes on and on, but that's what I love about it so much. There's always something interesting to do or to see here. One of my favorite things to do is watch football, and I don't mean SEC football, but that's very popular in Mobile too. Well, all of Alabama actually, but I'm talking about Pee Wee football. Um, watching Tony Jr. and his little teammates go out there and give it their all is so gosh darn cute. Um, Y'all need to recognize that football, it's the heart of this state. 
college football that is. You're gonna hear football conversations among the locals about popular teams like um, Crimson Tide in Tuscaloosa or Auburn Tigers in Auburn. And here in Mobile, you've also got South Alabama and Jaguars, go Jags. Just know you'll have to pick a side and get ready to party on game days because here football is like the Super Bowl, but every single Saturday. Roll Tide, baby, let's go. See what I mean? Another pro you can look forward to is the state experiences plenty of sunny days. With 213 days of sun, Mobile boasts excellent weather all year long for all sorts of activities. Throughout many parts of the state, you can expect the summers to average 90 degrees or above, um, while the winters remain mild in the 60s, and they can drop a little bit lower at night, but not by much. Um, the sunny weather and our incredible coastline makes it perfect for so many outdoor activities like stand-up paddle boarding, kayaking, um, beach volleyball, hiking, biking, fishing, um, and let's not forget to mention golf. Nobody forgets about golf, Jess. That would be like someone forgetting their kid before an international flight. What are you talking about? <laughs> I'm just saying, it's a home alone type of extreme. Okay, all right. Okay, it's extreme, but you can't forget your favorite pastime, golf. So if you're tired of the cold weather, Mobile, Alabama is a place you've got to consider. The people here are beyond friendly, and in my opinion, they define the word Southern hospitality. Contrary to what you may have heard from other channels, from a person who doesn't even live here, <laughs> residents in Mobile and surrounding towns are among the friendliest and are the most welcoming people that I think we've ever met. Making friends here isn't hard. I can't tell you how many times we've had 20, 30 minute conversations in passing with neighbors or at the grocery store, after church, or with someone who's doing work at the house. Here, nobody is in a hurry or avoids saying hello. It's part of their Southern etiquette, I'd say. And you just smile and say hello when you pass someone on the street. You put your phone down and you actually listen when someone's speaking to you. You hold the door for the person who's standing in front of you or behind you. And you allow cars to pass in front of you. Uh, it's just different. People are raised right down here. I can personally tell you I've made multiple friends here just by talking to them randomly. No mutual friends and it's all been you know very brief conversations. I've been on the golf course. Uh, in passing, mind you, purchasing something from a Facebook uh, marketplace and now we're buddies who we just recently went hunting together. Uh, I found myself sitting down at a bowling alley with someone just shooting the shit and now we hang out regularly. These are just stories within the past few months. I can't remember all of them <laughs> you know, throughout the years, but I'm just telling you, it's a different vibe. Yeah, he can literally go on for days. So let's just dive into some of the cons of living in Mobile, um, starting with bugs. So yeah, you might have to deal with some cockroaches while you're living here. Um, some of them will even have wings and will fly in your hair if you're standing under a tree or close to it or not even at all. Um, just know it will happen, so expect it. It literally happened to me indoors inside Mobile Airport. Um, a part of me died right there. but seriously, um, okay, but one trade-off of warm weather and humidity in the south is the number of pests that follow, especially in Alabama. You'll need to watch out for roaches and mosquitoes, fire ants, and termites. These pests can invade your home and they can be a nuisance and cause issues. Um, learning how to get rid of roaches in your home can be a lifesaver if you encounter them. Um, we use pest control companies that treat our homes interior and exterior almost monthly to get rid of the termites. And they also spray the perimeter of the home just for precautionary measures. As for mosquitoes, you just live with them, that's it. They're here almost year round except when the temperatures drop, but there's really no getting rid of them. Um, just be ready to use bug spray religiously. Otherwise, you'll be covered head to toe with itchy, unattractive mosquito bites. Trust us, we've experienced this firsthand. The summer we moved to Lower Bama, within the first 24 hours of living here, we figured out really fast that bug spray was a necessity. Um, but those roaches, I can count on my hands how many times I've seen one in my house, so not too many. Um, but the most recent one was actually when my brother and sister-in-law were visiting this past fall, and a roach must have like squeezed under the door jam and it legit chased my sister-in-law Whitney. You weren't here, but you had to be here. We were running around screaming and this damn roach was chasing Whitney. I'm not even exaggerating. Um, it was the craziest thing I've ever seen. And my brother ran to the Walmart and he got like roach traps and by morning that sucker was toast. But oh my God, these bugs down here are nuts. 
We're not exaggerating, so get ready for bugs in the south. I don't know, I was on a golf trip. <laughs> of course you were. <laughs> to me, I think mosquitoes are worse, and I've met some people who aren't bothered by them. And I guess you can say that's what having thick skin means, because I feel when those suckers land on me and I'm smacking myself across the head to not get bit, but our next con is gonna be a lot of places close early or are closed completely on Sundays. Some places in Mobile have begun to steer away from this long-standing tradition, but smaller traditional places are still like this. And throughout the week, you can see them closing earlier. So just know which stores have these hours to plan your shopping accordingly. Alabama is a very religious state. I'd say um, we're considered the Bible Belt and Sunday is very much a day of rest or a day to worship. Um, it's definitely a cultural standard in some places here and you'll find that on Sundays many things just are not open um, where we live in Fairhope pretty much our entire downtown is closed on Sundays our next con is that Mobile Alabama has extreme weather conditions being on the Gulf Coast in Alabama we're vulnerable to natural disasters all year round um, you'll find that the most common occurrences are flash floods tornadoes severe thunderstorms hurricanes you name it, I feel like we get a little bit of everything down here. <laughs> if you're a homeowner or plan to be one, you'll for sure want to purchase a home that's gold fortified. Or if it's an older home, then you may want to take it to another level and buy storm windows to help with the intense wind that Do comes through. Do we have through. storm windows? No. Is our home gold fortified? No. No. <laughs> So you Personal get it, difference. and for anyone who doesn't know, Gold Fortified means the home is built stronger and reinforced with things like enhanced nailing, uh, sealed roof deck, and you just get these lockdown edges to help enforce everything around the home. So when you're trying to weather a storm, it gets through it a lot easier. Um, so chances are, when that happens, a Gold Fortified home is gonna be, a, or go a lot smoother. Yeah. Another con is that the humidity levels in Alabama can be really high. If you're not used to moisture in the air, it may take you some time to get used to it or you might just hate it and never get used to it at all because it can be really intense. Um, humidity can make the hot weather seem even more severe, so prepare yourself for this. <laughs> I know a lot of women who hate the humidity because it makes their hair super frizzy and flat and that's just life down here um, most of the year. We live in ponytails, hats, curly hair. Um, we do get a break for a few short months when the humidity does die down and we can wear our hair down and curled and we take full advantage of that. But then that humidity comes back and I'm throwing my hair up in a messy bun and calling in a day. You'll be all right, promise. If you're like me, you step outside, feel the humidity in the air and you just know it's gonna be a good day, period. Yeah, Tony loves the humidity, he's built for this. I love it. All right, y'all, Mobile, Alabama has many great qualities. There's plenty of Southern charm, beautiful beaches, beautiful people, and good food. All the pros for sure outweigh the cons. So if you're considering relocating to our beautiful state, call the number one relocation team right here in Lower Alabama and let's find you your next home. Thanks for watching and please hit that like and subscribe button and we'll see you on our next video. Bye, y'all. See ya.